So the 2021 X-Men Metal has been out for a little more than a week now. And in that week, we had a lot of great content on breaks, pulls, hits, etc. Dave and Adam still have sealed cases selling at 3300 while loose boxes are going for 280 a box. Today, I'm going to dive into the first week of eBay sales data on the set's key inserts to determine if it's worth breaking a case for $3,300. What's up YouTube, Car Boss here. We talk about everything cards, money, investing. All right, let's go. I can hardly believe it. It's been a long time since I enjoy watching breaks, be it sports cards or Magic the Gathering. 2021 X-Men Metal Universe breaks are awesome entertainment. The cards are bright, fun, and the inserts look great. The set is a true collector's dream with all the throwback inserts from the original Metal Universe in 1997. Some of you are lucky to snack boxes and cases at $100 a box or $1,200 a case. It's $3,300 now for anyone new who wants to buy it. So I'm going to crunch some numbers on the first week of eBay sales for the key inserts between the 24th of June to the 27th of June. A few things to note here before we begin. First, data is extracted from eBay sold listings using 130point.com. Next, this only covers inserts and hence one-on-one -on -one sketches and parallels including the PMGs are all excluded. We'll talk a bit more on that later on. Sales are individual cards and excludes all lots here. And finally, I specifically removed the $1,000 sale for the Wolverine Palladium as I don't think the sale is legit. I could be wrong. So let's get to the numbers. For Arcwell, there were 13 regular copies and 2 short printed ones sold for a total sales of $484. The Blast Furnace insert had 18 regular copies sold and one short print which was the Deadpool that sold for $400. Total sales for this insert is at $900. Both Arcwell and Blast Furnace odds were 1 in 48 packs for the regular and 1 in 576 packs for the short prints. That would translate to roughly 3 per case for the regular and one short print in every 4 cases. Planet Metal saw 11 sales transactions across its variants, i.e. the aluminum, copper and platinum, for a total sales of $638. Uh, it's found in 1 in 72 packs, or basically 2 copies per case. Palladium, which is the most common insert, uh, has an average pull of 1 per box. So without earlier mentioned Wolverine, a total of 74 cards were sold in the last few days, and sales totaling $1,806. Then came the ultra thick geodes. Geodes had three pull odds, the regular one at 1 per 96 packs or 1 per case, the short print at 1 per 360 packs, and the super short print at 1 per 1440 packs. A total of 21 copies of geodes were sold, which was surprising given its tougher pull rate compared to Arcwell and Blast Furnace. Total sales was $2517, mainly boosted by the Magneto super short print, which was sold for $800. There was a lucky buyer who snagged a Storm Super Shop print for $150 as well. There was only one solo transaction for the Platinum Portraits, a Sabre 2 for $300. I would have expected more, but I guess the asking price is a bit too high for some buyers, given how vanilla the insert look in contrast to the bright arc wells or the blast furnace. And finally, there is Purely Periodic. There are no known odds published for this insert. So I'm just going to go on a basis of 1 in 144 packs, or 1 per case. 14 copies were sold in a, that few days, with sales totaling $944. So let's do some analysis on the numbers. In total, there was only $7,591 in sales across all the inserts since the set's release up to 27th of June. The poor card quality has weighed down the prices somewhat, and it seems this is looking more like a collector product than an investor product. We tabulated the average sale per card across the inserts here and multiplied them versus the per case odds. I'm aware you can't get one and one half of a card or a quarter of a card. This table is just to illustrate the average value of your hits per case, which totals to an expected value or EV of $1,028 based solely on week one sales. What this means is that for an average case based on the early sales data, you would net just above $1,000 in sales, excluding your PMGs, parallels, high numbers, and base cards. So if you paid $1,200 per case back then, 
I would say you're probably doing extremely well, given that you still have 8 to 10 copies of PMGs, maybe a one-on-one -on -one sketch, two dozen grandiose, and a number of pink and gold parallels. I believe if the entry price was even at $150 a box, i.e. 1800 a case, you'd still be doing okay. But if your entry was 3300 then things start to get a little dicey. Unless you're pulling strong with more than one short print or super short print insert in your case, it gets a little tricky to cover the high cost base. The non-main character PMGs are barely $50 each, so if your aim is to make money off this product through breaking, at $3,300 per case should be last of your options. $1,000 EV per case is just based on a small sample size, and numbers may ship up or down depending on what sort of hits get sold in the coming weeks. The toughest hit, i.e. the super short print Wolverine Geodes is currently on auction, and that certainly would raise the average. Hence, I wouldn't dismiss immediately about investing in this product. Holding silk wax might be a possible play here until we get full sales data on all the short printer inserts to get a clearer average on the EV per case. Once again, keep watching this space and subscribe to this channel so you'll know when I do future updates on this set. So if you guys like this video and found it very useful, do like and subscribe for more content in the future. I will be putting up similar videos, so do watch out for that. Thanks and have a great day.